Hi everyone. I am here to teach you today about place value. And we are going to explore today how we can put items or count things into a group of 10 and then count those that are left over. This will help us count more efficiently or quickly. It kind of reminds me how we count our number of days that we've been in school during morning meeting each day. It's easier for us to count by tens when we see a full 10 frame and then count the extra ones that have not quite made a 10 yet. So let's see if we can do this by counting the markers that I have with me. Okay, you see that I have a lot of markers that have fallen in the floor. If I want to count how many markers, I could count by saying each one. One, two, three, four, five. But that may take a really long time. And I may forget what number I was on. So I'm going to show you how we can bundle things into a group of 10 to count quicker and more efficiently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have a group of ten markers. I'm going to put a rubber band around those so that they stay together. There's my group of ten markers. Let's see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And another group of ten. So now I have two groups of ten when I counted my markers. Ten, twenty. 20 markers in all. Now mathematicians, we just counted that there were 20 markers spilt in the floor. We bundled them into two groups of 10 to help us count quicker. 10, 20. I could count each one and I would still get 20 markers, but it was quicker and I didn't lose my count whenever I put them into groups of 10. Now I have another set of markers. This time, I decided to only use my markers that were scented. They smell whenever I write. In order to count these, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to make a group of 10, and then see if we have enough left over to make another group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 my group of 10. I'm going to bundle them all together. Now let's see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five. So now I have five markers left. I can't make a group of 10. These are just going to be those that are left over. Now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 markers that are scented. Just as we made a bundle of 10 and had some left over with our markers, we can represent this using a 10 rod and five one cubes. One, two, three, four, five. If you look closely at this 10 rod, you can see that it's broken into 10 little squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So when we see this 10 rod, we can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 